Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and we hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, today is uh, Monday evening and I have a doctor's appointment in just a little while and we wanted to prepare this meal so that we could have a meal already cooked when we got home today and so I'm going to try to put it together pretty quick for us and what we're having today is we're going to have chicken thighs. I'm going to bake them in the oven with uh, barbecue sauce on them and we got this pack of chicken thighs from Walmart for $3.33 and we're also going to be having uh, breaded okra I'm going to fry the okra up and this is a frozen pack 12 ounces it's just about the right perfect amount for two people uh, I don't recall the cost on this because we did uh, have this in our freezer but I'll look up the cost and put it on the screen here for you and then we're also having uh, white creamed corn and this corn is frozen and same story on it we had in our freezer so I'll look up the cost on it but Marie loves the white creamed corn and uh, of course I do too so uh, let me get started on this uh, we're, like I said I'm gonna do it pretty quick today because we're in a little bit of a hurry but hope you enjoy watching this and this is what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight Okay, on these chicken thighs, they come four to a pack. So this will actually make two meals for me and Marie. Because we just eat one at each meal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is put a little oil on here and get them oiled up just a little bit. And I'm just using plain vegetable oil. Next, I'm going to go with some salt. And some pepper. I'm going to go with a little bit of garlic powder on this side. Okay, and that's all I'm going to put on this side. Now I'm going to turn them over. Okay, and then I'll put some more salt. Some more pepper. Um, more garlic powder. Now on this side I'm going to add some paprika. And I'm going to put just a little bit of chili powder on this side, not much. Okay, and I'm going to transfer these into a, a pan that I can put into the oven. And I'm going to put just a little bit of barbecue sauce on top of them. Now I'll come back and put some more barbecue sauce on them right before they get done. Okay. 
Okay, and I've already got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. So I'm going to cover these with the aluminum foil. And these are going to go in the oven for 45 minutes. And about 10 minutes before they're done, I'll take the cover off and put a little more barbecue sauce on top of them then. And uh, that should finish cooking them, you know, after a total of 45 minutes. We'll check temperature just to be sure. So let me get these in the oven, and then we'll get started on the corn. Okay, so now I'm going to get started on the corn. And on this corn, all we got to do, I've already thawed it out. So just got to cut the end and let this corn go into a sauce pan. Might have been better to cut this with a pair of scissors. Okay, and Marie's the one that told me how to prepare this corn, so I'm doing it exactly the way she instructed. I'm going to put some uh, butter in here. Probably going to put about two tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to add some black pepper to it. Uh, Pretty good bit of black pepper. We may add some more to it after it gets finished cooking, but this will be for right now to get it started. So I'm gonna put this over here on the eye. Start it heating up. Give it a real good stir. Okay, and all that's got to do is just come to a, uh, a little simmer, get hot and simmer for a few minutes, and it'll be done. Okay, so now let me get started on the okra. Okay, on the okra, I'm going to add some vegetable oil to my iron skillet. And let it start heating up. This uh, okra and corn will be done before the chicken's done. But like I said, we're preparing this for our meal later this afternoon. And I just want to go ahead and get everything cooked up and have it ready. So when we come home, all we got to do is just warm it up a little bit and be ready to eat. Okay, I'm going to give this corn a little stir. It's starting to heat up. I don't want it to get too hot and stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Marie also said on the corn uh, that once it gets almost done to taste it and if it needs it to add just a little bit of sugar to it, maybe a teaspoon of sugar, uh, if it don't have a sweet enough taste to it. So we'll do that. The oil is almost ready. You want your oil to be hot enough that when you add the okra to it, that it starts cooking and frying without soaking all that oil into the uh, bread and on the okra. Okay, I'm going to test one piece and see if it's about ready. Okay, yeah, that's ready. So I'm going to start adding the okra into it sort of slowly so we don't cool it down too much at one time. Just a little bit more. 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put all the soda in there. So we don't have any left over. Take your okra and sort of lay it down flat so it's just one single layer. And there's a few pieces that stuck together, but that'd be okay, they'll cook up just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit here and fry on one side. And what you want to do is you don't want to turn it over until it's completely done on one side. Then you flip it over, cook it on the other side, and you hope that you only have to do it, you know, one flip like that. But let's let this cook a few minutes and then I'll flip it over. Okay, the corn is almost done and the okra looks like it's ready to be flipped over one time. So let me go ahead and try to flip it and see if it's ready. And maybe it needs just a little bit more, so I'll wait just a couple more minutes on the okra. Okay, I'm going to give this over another try. Yeah, that looks a little better there. Get all this flipped over. Okay, and now we'll let it cook real good on this side. Okay, the okra is almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start getting it out. Okay, that okra looks good. And what we do, we just put it here on some paper towels and let the uh, excess grease absorb off of it. And that'll make the okra taste real good. Okay, and also on my okra, I like to put just a little salt on top of the okra just as soon as it comes off the skillet. Okay, so this okra is ready to eat just like that. And it's going to be delicious. The chicken likes about 15 minutes. So in the next five minutes, I'll take the cover off and put a little uh, barbecue sauce on top of it let it finish cooking for the last 10 minutes so when it's all done we'll come back and i'll show you what it looks like
Okay, the chicken lasts 10 minutes. Been done. And Marie just got through tasting of the corn, and she said the corn was perfect. You don't have to do anything to the corn. Hold it here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Chicken's looking good. I'm gonna put some more barbecue sauce on it, and then I'll put it back in the oven, uh, uncovered this time now for 10 more minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Marie, this is going to be good when we get home from the doctor's office today, isn't it? It will be. And uh, we're trying to get this finished up because just as soon as we get through cooking it, we'll be headed to the doctor's office very shortly. So let this go back into the oven. Okay, there's 10 minutes on timer. As soon as it gets through cooking, I'll get out and show you what it looks like. Okay, the timer is beeping, so uh, the chicken should be done now. Let me get out here and we'll take a look at it. That oven is definitely hot today. Okay, that was good timing. I think I hear Marie coming in here. And let me show her how this looks. I come in here to see what was smelling so good. <laughs> it does smell good, don't it, Marie? Guys, that looks good too. Okay, there's our baked barbecue chicken. <laughs> and there's our fried okra. Mm -hmm. And you want to try one piece of okra and see what you think about it? Or you don't have to. We know it's good, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the uh, cream corn. That's the white cream corn. So I think that's going to make us a good meal, don't you? I do. I, when we get back, I think we'll be enjoying that for sure yeah we don't normally have doctor's appointments this late in the evening but mm -hmm. it's a 3:30 appointment and so uh, this will be perfect when we come home we just warm it back up just a little bit mm -hmm. and be a good meal won't it, it will. i appreciate everybody watching this video hope you enjoyed it uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas to have a baked barbecue chicken with fried okra and cream style corn right and marie loves cream style corn Mm -hmm. And well, you love okra too, don't you? I do. Yeah. So I know it's going to be a great meal. So y'all have a great day. We'll see you on next video. When we get back and I put this in a plate, I'll show you what a plate looks like. Okay, and like Calvin said, we'll see you on the next video. And y'all have a wonderful day. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And bye. As long as we are watching the fall